the latest singer to be unmasked on The Masked Singer is an Oakland native. Ruth Pointer of the legendary Pointer Sisters was eliminated on Wednesday night's show. I had the chance to talk with her about the experience, and we started with what it felt like when that mask came off. Who is it? Oh my God, it was just so much fun. You know, it makes you feel like a kid again. You know, I've been chasing the show since the first season and my manager had another client that did the show. And when I saw that, I said, you got to get us on the show. And so when it came up, we were just excited to do it, me and Anita. Yeah, and you were supposed to perform with your sister, but things fell through. How is she? She's doing pretty good. You know, she's hanging in there. It's a tough thing. and. He's going through chemo and all that. So I'm here supporting her, and we watched the show together last night, me and her and her granddaughter, Roxy, and Melissa. And my son, Malik, stays here with her, and then we just had fun. Was it hard to keep the secret? Oh, God, yes. Yeah. Oh, my God. They tell you you can't tell anybody anything. Right. So, you know, every, every time I was leaving the house, like, where are you going? What you doing? Why are you going to L.A.? And I'm like, oh, my, because I live in Boston now. Oh, so okay. when I got ready to travel and my, of course, my family, they know, usually know my schedule. And they knew I hadn't got an itinerary recently because of COVID and everything. Yeah. So they were very curious about where I was going and what I was doing. I mean, I will tell you, as a longtime fan of the Pointer Sisters from, from way back when I was little, um, I went through sort of a musical history of, of you and your sisters and your group. And, and then compare that to what I saw of you on The Masked Singer. When you were performing as the Pointer Sisters, it was all you, right? It was you and your beautiful voices, your beautiful bodies. I mean, you didn't have fake stage names. There, there was... There was such an authenticity about it. What was it like for you to perform as a cupcake without being able to really show your true self in that way? Well, it, it wasn't that much of a stretch because, um, you know, do, being a performer is almost kind of like pretending anyway. You know, um, even though we are very authentic in our performances, we also have these other lives where we're mothers and we're, you know, siblings and we're wives. And that's a whole nother thing, uh, aside from being a performer on stage as the Pointer Sisters. Yeah. So it's like pretend and one of our favorite holidays of of the year is Halloween. So it's just like Halloween on steroids. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it was so fun to go back and look at your guys' old videos. I mean, when I hit play on Jump, I realized I still remembered every single word. You must get approached by people who just sing, you know, Neutron Dance or who just sing it all back to you, even though it's been a couple years. Yeah, yeah, they do. And we appreciate them, you know, remembering those times because it was the best time for music as far as I'm concerned. No, absolutely. All right, so let's talk about the fact that you are from Oakland. You're not in Oakland now. Can I ask, how did Oakland sort of inform you as a young musician, the, the, the music and the art you put out into the world? Can you think back and go, oh, yeah, that's Oakland right there? Well, you know, we, we came along during the time of, of Tower of Power and Sly and the Family Stone. I remember listening to Sly as a DJ on the radio late at night in my bedroom. Um, Sylvester and, and, you know, there's just, there's just so much talent that came out of that little town. I've often wondered if there will ever be a film made of so much talent that has come out of Oakland, not just singers and performers, but athletes. I mean, both of my brothers were all American athletes and um, my cousin, Paul Silas, and his son now is a coach for a basketball NBA team. There's just so much talent that comes out of that little spot. Yeah. And I always felt very fortunate that, especially when I started to travel and see what other cities were like. Yeah. And it made me even more grateful that Oakland was such a beautiful little town yeah. and just so full of, you know, a lot of activities and parks and yeah. things that, I mean, I didn't know we had it so good until I started to travel the world. And then I started thinking about, damn, we, we really lucky. Yeah. I mean, we lived in a house on the hill with views and, yeah. 
yeah. all that and it wasn't that expensive right. and it was like all the little lakes and it, yeah and I'm looking at your background and I'm thinking wow that's pretty where is she yeah so this is right along the Oakland estuary I mean this is like prime real estate here you, you mentioned you lived up in the hills I think the prices for homes have changed a bit uh, up here uh, you know in, in the Oakland Hills but look I'm sending you a lot of Oakland love we'd love to welcome you back anytime you've been a joy to watch on the mask singer Ruth Pointer thank you Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much and much love to Oakland. We could have talked for an hour. A quick reminder here, you can watch The Masked Singer Wednesdays at 8 o'clock right here on KTVU.